Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we'll see how to use subprocess module in Python for executing Linux terminal commands in the backend. First, we'll go to the documentation of subprocess. This is by default available in Python. It is part of Python standard library. And in this documentation, we can see the recommended approach to invoking subprocess is to use run function. So we'll see how to execute terminal command using run function. First, I'll import subprocess. And to execute a terminal command, we can give subprocess dot run and we can give any Linux terminal command here. So I'll give print working directory. And here we are getting the output. And we can even try executing same command from the terminal. But if you want to execute a command which is having spaces. So let us put a command with space 0 0.1. I'll give reply count 3. I try running so I'm getting error here if you want to pass this either we can give shell equal to true and now this is getting executed or you can convert this into a list so I'll put this in a list format so you can execute it this in these two ways and we'll see the documentation of run and here we were passing the argument shell equal to true so we'll go to the argument details here and it says if it is true the command will be executed through shell and now we will put this command into a variable i'll comment this i'll create a variable here s1 and now we'll try running this. So still we are getting the output. But if you try printing S1, so we're getting only argument. If you want to get this inside S1, what we can do is we can give capture output equal to true and now if you see by default it is not printing it is coming inside s1 and here we can see multiple values arcs then std out and it is coming in bytes format and we have std error as well so we'll try to access that print s1 dot std out so now we are getting data in bytes format so we'll try putting this ping command now we need to give even shell equal to true so we'll try running so this is waiting for all this three reply count to complete and now we have the ping response either we can do a decode here or 
or we can even use text equal to true so we'll print it and now we'll see the error scenario I'll take a copy of this variable comment this and I'll give an invalid command here and we'll try printing s1 dot std out I'll make this as an error so now we are not getting anything in std out so let us check what we are getting in std error so here we are getting the error message similar way we can even access the arguments what we are passing so we can give arcs and this will be printing the command what we executed and now we'll write an if else condition for this if s1 dot std out if execution is successful we'll print s1 dot std out and else will print s1 dot std error so now we are getting the error we can put a formatted string and give additional messages here and now if this is successful we will get that data here and same thing we can do using even the return code we'll comment this and here s1 dot return code equal to zero that time we will print std out so let us run this yeah it is coming and if I give an invalid command so it is printing the error in this way you can handle the command execution status now we'll see how to write this output to a text file for that we can do with open We'll create a file called ping.txt and we'll write the content and we'll call this ping file and we'll copy this will continuously ping and here we can give std out equal to and we can give the file ping file the variable ping file so this will write to try to write to this particular file so we'll try running this script So here we are getting a message saying that with capture output we cannot use std out or std error so we can remove capture output from here and we'll try running this and i already opened terminal here and we have a file ping.txt i will 
tail that file. So now here we should be able to see the complete data of this particular command execution. So these are some examples of how to use sub process for executing command in the backend.